جزاكم الله خيرا سيدنا الله جزاك حياكم الله فتح الله عليكم الله يحفظك الله سعيد لنا وانا كذلك سبحان الله شرفنا بكم الله اكبر حبيب وي هاف وي هاف اي اي كومن فايت ان ذات از ذا ليبريشن اوف ذا بالستينيان بيبل باذن الله ان وي سي ات سون ان شاء الله اند از ا بيبل تراينج تو تو ريلي بيهايند ذا بالستينيان بيبل وي اولسو وود لايك تو نو وي نو ذات اتس ا ديفلوبينج سيتويشن بات وي وود لايك تو نو تو ويتش دايركشن to the Palestinians wish to take the liberation. Some people still speak about a two-state solution. Uh, we've, we've heard sentiments that the two-state solution is dead. Uh, another sentiment is, of course, the one-state solution, equal rights for all, one man, one vote, a type of situation that uh, South Africa experienced. What, uh, what's your take on this? Thank you, brother. Uh, see, uh, two things. Uh, you know, there is a saying, say that if you keep Uh, do whatever you keep doing and you know and you expect uh, uh, another outcome then then you should think of the uh, uh, sanity of your mind but we, we keep doing about two state solutions since 67 right. nothing has flourished no. so wh- why should our people after 20000 shaheed martyrs and and a lot of this sufferings we go back to the same approach We need to innovate in new approaches. No. And that is the only approach is to ask the Palestinian what do they want? The Palestinian, they have never been given the opportunity to say or to speak. Mm. It's always some organization or regional power here and there. They are speaking before uh, in behalf of them. Ask the Palestinian. No. Take their opinion to self-determination. And before that, finish the occupation. No. This is the thing. Two-state solution? Is Israel agreeing to two-state yeah. solution? They don't have any official stance saying that they, we are agreed to Palestinian independent state. No. This is ridiculous. Absolutely. So I believe any political approach before 7th of October mm. is no more valid. Mm. Let it be whatever net. Even any proposal was given from resistance movements mm. should stop today. Mm. Today, we should think how to stop the war, how to finish the occupation, then go and ask the Palestinian. I'm not worried about the, an Israeli state. Why should I engage my mind with that? Israel has committed war crimes. An apartheid regime. They did not abide by the international world to, to abide by 2421339. They did not allow the Palestinian refugees to come, uh, to come back. Those are all resolutions uh, ratified in the United Nations with majority but none of them has been implemented. Mm. Nevertheless, Israel is a member state of a permanent member state in the United Nations. Right. So how can I trust that system mm. talking about two-state solution? No. There is an Israeli state. I don't recognize it. I don't now touch it. And we'll see what we deal with that. Mm. Mm. The nation will deal with it. Mm. The international community will deal with it. But today we should engage ourselves with only one thing, finishing the occupation, Stopping, stopping the war, finishing the occupation, and ask the Palestinian for their self-determination. Mm. You cannot ask a prisoner to write to self-determination. Mm. This is ridiculous. Right. You, you don't negotiate with the jailers. Mm. The, the only thing you demand from the jailer is to set me free. No. And that has what has happened everywhere in the world. No. First of all, respect yourself mm. as an international organization when you talk about two-state solution. There is no two-state solution. Mm. You failed to do it. Absolutely. You have no teeth mm. to empower or implement whatever you decide, mm. whatever you ratify. Or, or, or that, that is really, I, know, I don't know. But, but, but this is an insult for us no. to keep talking as if you are playing with our blood mm. and our sentiments. Mm. After all those sacrifices, you're still talking about those obsolete mm. political approaches. The only thing, as I said, and I reiterate, stop the war, mm. And the Israeli aggressions open the borders <clears throat> and finish the occupation, then proceed for a political solution based on what the Palestinians need. No, subhanAllah. The second question is about the uh, Hamas Charter. Often the detractors against Hamas and the Palestinian resistance, they refer back to the original charter, wherein some critics have claimed that they are anti-Semitic uh, statements or, or clauses. But the Hamas Charter has since been revised. The, the question that it really comes down to is, does the liberation of the Palestinian people equal to the annihilation 
of the Jews, because this is the type of sentiment that people have put forward. <laughs> this is the boogie trap, mm. and this is the boogeyman in there, yes. or crow man, yes. which is always raised by those exactly. invaders and those uh, neo-Nazis, the yes. Israelis, who has who was suffering from the Holocaust, and now they are perpetrating Holocaust mm. against us. Mm. I'm not the one who is talking religious, uh, obsolete language. It's Blinken no. who came in Tel Aviv and he said, I'm not the under secretary of state. Mm. I am here in capacity Come of being a Jew. Mm. Mm. He's recalling this fight. No. It's not me. No. no, it's simple. A thief came into your house and you revolted against him. It happens that this thief was of a certain nationality, mm. certain religion or certain race. Mm. I didn't think of that. Right. I just revolted against that thief. Absolutely. Simple as that. Now the thief, in order to rationalize uh, their own crimes and to escape from the punishment, he said, that man is against the Jew. Right. Mm. Even in Quran, mm. the name of the Jews, you know, that Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one third of Quran spoke about the Jew. No. One third of Allah's time mm. was spent talking about the Jew. No. This you need to mind it. Mm. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, was never talking a Jew about a Jew negatively mm. unless and until they were not following Musa alayhi no. Peace upon him. The time they are in sedition, the time they are killing the humanity, the time they are uh, committing aggression over the others, then the, the verses of the Quran came against them. Mm. On the other hand, the friends of Musa, the friends of Isa, the apostles of Isa, they were the writers. Mm. We are Dawood, no. not the existing Israel. No. This six star angle, six mm. angle mm. star, it's not David's star, mm. because David is Palestinian, no. he's not Israeli. Mm. David is in the, in, the, in the line of those who are oppressed. Mm. What annihilation of Jews? No. We are talking about annihilation of political entity mm. of Israel, which was the reason of destability in the beginning of century mm. for the whole world. No. They perpetrated massacres. No. They holocausted our people in 1948. Mm. Menahem Begin, the first prime minister of Israel, whose his name was, was pasted on the walls of London against wanted mm. because he is the head of a thug, mm. huh? against this much pound of dollars. Right. Those are the leaders of Israel. Right. They are having no relevance to Judaism. Mm. They don't have relig relevance to any religion mm. or any humanity. Mm. They are invaders and they are thugs. Mm. They have no right mm. to talk about anything. Israel as a political entity, we in 1948, before May, uh, 15th May, rather before Balfour Declaration and British Mandate, we were relatively having peace and sta stability mm. in a country by, named Palestine, and it was registered in League of Nations under the name of Palestine since 1921, no. after the, after the, during the British Mandate. Mm. Now this very Palestine was of 27 and 9, 27,009 square kilometers. Right. It's not me saying that. Mm. It's the documents. Mm. It's the history mm. saying that. Now, they brought this called Israel, and it happens that they are Jew. Mm. I didn't think of that. Right. None has thought of that. And they wanted to delete with a rubber. Mm. And a rubber. Mm. They delete, erase the name of Palestine and put the name of Israel. Any rationality behind that? Mm -mm. They are annihilators, Absolutely. not me. Mm. This political entity has caused direct strike to the stability and security of international community. No. Since then till today, mm. the humanity has never enjoyed any security or stability mm. because of Israeli entity. No. And today rather it's worse because we are having an extremist rightist government in Israel mm. who doesn't believe even the right of living for any human other than their pure race. Mm. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we have an example here in South Africa where the white South Africans feared that should the blacks take over, it would lead to the annihilation of the whites. And they were really scared of the idea of one man, one vote. And yet 1994 came, Nelson Mandela became the first democratically elected president. 
Alhamdulillah, there is this history. We're not perfect. We certainly have our problems. The same history. They are same. Subhanallah. But at least we don't have apartheid. We don't have this oppression. The third question, Habib, is about the resistance fighters. They've struck so much inspiration within us for the sheer commitment to Islam that we've seen from them, the commitment to Quran. There's one, there's one question that, that sits with me is that, you know, they, they pursued what they did on the 7th of October, knowing that they are facing what is claimed to be the fourth most powerful army in the world, knowing that Israel is backed by these other allies, uh, who are also extremely powerful nuclear powers of the world. So they knew that what they would face after that would be a military power that exceeds their own, much like the Muslims in the Battle of Badr and other battles with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What makes such yaqeen, what makes such religious commitment for an army, for ordinary Muslims to, to gain such a level of certainty to do uh, such an attack or to, to, to undertake such a venture, um, what exactly inspires them? In this it's the belief, brother. It's the belief of our nation in Allah, the God, that He is always, and He is always beside the right, and He will never tolerate the oppression. This is our belief, this is our creed, and the belief of the justice of our issue. Then the asbab, the reasons, our people are steadfast because of them we are strong. Mm. The resistance today is because of this cherishing the presence of our people in the, in the field. They sacrifice their children, mm. their houses, their churches, their mosques. Mm. With this zeal, mm. we are revealed. This, we have taken this, this courage and this, uh, this thing. You know, we started with scratch, with stones. And today we have rockets of 200 kilos uh, 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 range. Uh, our missiles today and rockets are more precise. Still, they are not smart ammunition like the Israelis who can attack a chair inside an office. Instead of that, they are randomly cut, firing all over the humanity inside, inside Gaza, but we still avoid to attack any civilian mm. target, so-called civilian, because settlers, that is another thing. No. They are with weapons, they're trained in army, yeah. half of the reserve army, 200,000 of, of the reserve mm. army is from settlers, Absolutely. but still again, we avoid that. Mm. But, but since we don't have that smart ammunition, those uh, collateral damages can happen mm. of that. And, and, and we don't mean to do that. Uh, this belief, this creed, this motivation, uh, which has been revealed from the steadfastness of our boys and girls and, uh, and, and fe people, senior citizens in the, in the field, have given us the drive mm. to take the reason and to advance mm. from stone. Mm. It, it's, it's a long journey, brother. Uh, now we have tunnels, we have turbines, we have uh, frog fighters, we have cyber uh, space uh, uh, individuals who can uh, uh, obscure the, the monitoring tower of, of Israel and, right. and, and let those gliders convert from gliders mm. of entertainment into jet fighters. And uh, we, our fighters, they managed to penetrate the $1 billion electric fence mm. built by Israelis right. on the fence of Gaza. Right. This is only of their belief and their uh, 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 rationality. You know, they, they believe in, 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 in raising the cost of occupation at the security level and economic level. And Israel today is losing a lot, no. a lot in no. all sense. They are losing morals. Mm. They are losing the battle of narratives internationally. Mm. You in South Africa and the others in America and in France and Britain, mm. the common man in the street, are chanting as, against war crimes of Israel. They are supporting Hamas mm. in name, mm. resistance, and right. Palestine. Right. Why? Because today, this no more accepted uh, uh, narrative by Israelis. Mm. This exploitation, blackmailing, mm. they are perpetrating ho new Holocaust in Gaza. Mm. The survivors of the old Holocaust, the new Nazis, they are perpetrating, perpetrating these, these new Holocaust inside Gaza. Th these all elements, 
led to a formula of a flood. Mm. Uh, that is why our fighters today, they are freedom fighters. They are not war mongers. Absolutely. They are not vampires. Mm. They do not shed the blood mm. unless and until it is defending mm. for the, about uh, of, of the nation. Yeah. We are living under occupation. Hence, we are self-defending ourselves. Thank you. I know you're very busy. Sorry to burden you. No, no, it's a